everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back on site again today outside. I'm completely done on the inside of the house in terms of what I need for the plumber. Everything is labeled, everything is laid out, everything that I wanted to put in place so that they wouldn't interfere with something I wanted to put in. That's all in, all done. And I started thinking to myself, well, who's the next contractor that's going to come in that I want to make sure I have stuff ready for? And that's the solar hot water person. We can't move into this house until we get our solar hot water panels up. Uh, that's not because I... I feel like, oh, I, I just couldn't live in a house that didn't have warm water. I legally can't move into this house because the government doesn't believe that I would necessarily finish all, all the green energy kinds of stuff that we're putting on the house that we are kind of mandated that we have to do. They don't trust us to do it after the fact, so they say you can't move in until you do it. That's kind of irritating to me because I'm, a, I'm an honest person, and in addition to that, this is all stuff I would want to do anyway. But, um, you know, I, I suppose not trusting people, at least in my unfortunate experience, is probably the right call most of the time, unfortunately. So, uh, I'm building this, what's behind you. It's a, a whole new house. It's a mini house. It's going to be a shed. It's 10 feet by 14 feet, but it is exactly the same building style as that. Uh, you know, from the tongue and groove uh, decking boards to like the really solid uh, uh, post and beam kind of support system, cathedral ceilings, windows, doors, uh, nice insulation, everything. It's pretty much a mini version of that. So I have to build a whole new house before we can even move into the real house. And that's what I started uh, doing today. The first step, you know, after the foundation has been poured, is to put these on. These are uh, uh, the sill plate. It's pressure treated uh, board uh, and it uh, bolts onto uh, the foundation with these little... Uh, uh, bolts that were, were set in when the foundation was poured. Before it goes on, it gets uh, this stuff. It's kind of a foam pad that prevents uh, drafts from going underneath it. Uh, and that's just what I've been working on today. It's, uh, so I, if, if you're just jumping into the series now, you get a, you get a whole uh, you know, fast forward replay of, of everything that we did because it's essentially going to be the same thing on a smaller scale. So that's what I started today. It took about two hours just to get this area prepped and ready to go. It had, there were all these tarps around it to try to uh, insulate it during the uh, winter so it didn't get frost heaves. There are all these boards on top. A bunch of the boards are over here. Uh, I had them all drying here because they, uh, they were really wet under there, not surprisingly. Uh, so I've, I've got them up uh, all separated so they can dry. Some of them had some mold growing on them. They'll be fine. I just got, got to let them dry out. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, so starting over from scratch doing a new house, and if you're curious about what those are, all those black pipes coming up out of the ground, you should check back early in this, earlier in the series. There's something buried under there that is, it will just astound you. Just go back through, look for a giant black structure. That's what's down there, you can find out. <laughs> That's it, thanks for watching.